Meantime, in a downtown courtroom today, tears and hugs as an 18-year-old heard evidence against him for a deadly car crash that killed 22-year-old Nick Hart. Three witnesses called 911 that day on the 56, concerned that the man who turned out to be Timothy Barnett was going to cause a crash and kill somebody. 10 News reporter Melissa Masiha live downtown with their very compelling testimony this morning. No? And Bill, sadly, that crash did happen. Now, there were hugs and tears, like we mentioned, before the case even started here in downtown. The courtroom completely packed, so packed that the bailiff actually had to tell people they couldn't come in because there were no more seats. Like we said, three separate witnesses all had the same testimony, all concerned that the 18-year-old was on the road. I was thinking, you know, this guy is pretty much, or, or this vehicle only pretty much is accident waiting to happen. And this is Timothy Barnett this morning. He barely looked up at the witnesses, kept his head down, visibly shaken by the charges he faces. The judge finally made Barnett look up at the fourth witness so he could identify Barnett as a driver, and that's when the 18-year-old burst into tears. Back on May 16th, prosecutors say Barnett had marijuana and Xanax in his system when he drove right into Nick Hart's car, causing that horrific crash that you're looking at. Hart, a Poway High School graduate and former Cal State San Marcos student, died at the scene. Witnesses called 911 and unfortunately they didn't realize a tragedy that was about to happen. I was worried that something was going to happen. I felt that he was going to cause an accident, maybe ours personally, and that's why I, I just thought it was just, he was just driving too, too awful. Back out here live, I did catch up with Barnett's biological father who spoke to me off camera. He said that his son is depressed and that his son takes full responsibility for what happened. If the 18 year old is convicted of his crimes, he could face 10 years behind bars. Reporting live in downtown, I'm Melissa Masiha. Back to you.